Hey guys, welcome to Hip Hughes History. I'm scrolling through my tweeters today and I see in cap locks a message in all cap locks. I know it's serious when I see that. America doomed 3,000 Americans renounced citizenship. And I'm like, there's no way that's true. So I click the story and gosh darn it, it's true. We're all doomed, it's that King Obama. We're all doomed, it's that wacky right wing. So instead of getting all cray cray, I decided to check out the story a little bit deeper and find out why did 3,000 Americans last year renounce their citizenship? Why don't you join me for an explanation? So the story goes a little bit something like this. Um, after the Great Recession that started in 2008, um, politicians, I think on both sides of the fence, were looking for revenue, ways to find revenue without increasing taxes directly. And there's tens of billions of dollars that are kind of uh, avoiding taxes by being put in Swiss banks. Uh, Swiss bank UBS is one of the great, greatest holders of these accounts. And basically by having secret accounts, they're not paying their American taxes. So you know, kind of a response to that situation on the Senate in a bipartisan manner, it was like a 70-28 vote, passed the Foreign Accounts Tax Compliance Act. That's all fancy language for basically making foreign banks responsible for transparency when it comes to Americans um, who have their accounts in those foreign banks. Um, and it was meant to bring in tens of billions of dollars in, in income tax, people that were cheating their taxes by hiding their money and not putting it on their balance sheet when it came to pay their income taxes. So it probably had a good intended consequence. The consequence was to bring in tens of billions of dollars, catch some tax cheats, everyone likes catching tax cheats, and uh, go marry on our way. The unintended consequence was this. Um, it's a heavy regulatory bill, meaning that it's regulating not an American industry, it's regulating a foreign bank. Basically telling that foreign bank that not only do they have to be transparent in terms of the accounts that they have that are Americans, but they're responsible for finding out who's the Americans. And what all of the foreign banks did is they basically said, no, nah, I don't, don't, don't think so. And they canceled all the accounts of Americans who had their, you know, uh, their money in their banks. So thousands and thousands of Americans living overseas, not millionaires, but just kind of average Americans overseas, had their accounts uh, canceled. And they can't find a place to put their money to pay their bills. So the only solution, renounce your citizenship. Now you're not an American citizen and you can put your momo back in your bank. So rather than saying America's doomed, I would probably say America, damn, <laughs> we probably should figure that one out. So there you go, guys. Now you know why 3,000 Americans are quitting the country. It's not because they don't love the country, but it is because they love their momo. All right, check out some other Hip Hughes history lectures. Click on my face. You'll go and you'll check it out. And where attention goes, guys, energy flows. Your brain's a little bit bigger. Good.